Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another live stream for you. So hopefully everyone's having a great weekend. Um, of course, tomorrow, tomorrow for me is Father's Day, and so uh, if you do have a you know family that you're planning to spend time with, hopefully you guys have to have, have a great weekend and a good uh, Father's Day. Um, again. I know that everyone's in different time zones, so um, let's uh, start it off. Uh, just uh, before we go, uh, can anyone um, hear me? Okay, so let's start it up. Okay. All right. Welcome, welcome. Hi, Argent, Airjax. I see Rise, Aether. Welcome. Congrats on the seventh perfect run, Rise. Okay. Did anyone do anything interesting this uh, weekend? Hey, Falco, yo. I hope you don't mind. It's a little bit warm here, so I do have the fan in the background. Layton, welcome. So hopefully we have some good drops. Uh, for those who are farming along with me, hopefully you guys have this good drops as well. And let's see where we get. I'm glad the audio is good. Sometimes, uh, as you know, with the internet, it can cut out a little bit, and we're hoping that we have little to no issues. Um, in terms of what we're farming for today, we're still looking for a fifth. Um, we're looking for a fifth curse seeker. We are actually looking for some more Minervas, of course. Um, any of the newer ones, the Codexes, of course. Uh, I can actually use a Silken Wisp. So you know, there's a number of different drops. Arabar for a. Uh, Yes, his Mila. But let's see if we can get some chant scripts first, of course. Alright. Oh, wow. Yes, Miyu, Melina, Yes, Victor, and Yuan. Sounds like a stacked team. Congrats, Rise, on those uh, summons. Even though you're not, uh, you know, you don't have too many stones at this point. Uh, that still looks like a very, very, very good uh, uh, results for something. Hey, best boy. Welcome and good morning. Hey, I wish I had a Philo. Congrats on the first codex, Falco. Oh, yes. Definitely, if you haven't done that yet, you definitely do have to uh, uh, make sure you get that uh, true VC Grasta for DJ. It makes a big difference, especially if you are using her on a regular basis. Um, Aerojax. Oh, sorry, Aerojax. Um, if I do get it, I'm actually going to probably hold off for just a little bit. Um, currently, again, there's nothing too, um, you know, nothing new that I need to do, so I'm just going to hold off for now. Although, you know, uh, I actually would like to uh, side grade or upgrade a few units after um, I do some summons. So, you know, once I get to Goddess of Time, then I'll decide at that point. Not a bad start, Jadeite. Because the thing is, you don't want to be spooked by the units you just side grade in. So I'm actually trying to hold off on upgrading unless, uh, you know, for example, if I can't beat those, um, you know, those uh, bosses once um, um, the uh, Pi 5 star comes out, then I'll upgrade at that time. And that's usually what I, I recommend anyways. Now, obviously, if your stones are relatively low, you might as well... Uh, you know, get a good chance of uh, side grading or upgrading, but for me being that I do have a fair number of stones still, um, I have to hold off just in case I get spooked, because uh, if you saw my last summon, of course, I actually have been spooked a couple of times now by ASA Foreign, so that's the downside. Okay, first round, not too exciting. And I do agree about Philo being, uh, or Philo, uh, being uh, pretty good with the manifest. Looks really, really exciting. 
Did anyone get any other cool drops or anything else interesting in your week? For myself, not too much. I've been still working on a couple of different projects. I actually, um, since you guys are here, I can let you all know that I am still working on my five-star review of UL and hopefully have that published uh, tomorrow, if nothing uh, drops. I don't expect Chapter 9 to drop until later on this week, and especially since usually we see uh, uh, a trailer of some sort, and I haven't seen it this weekend yet, although, mind you, we can drop it at any time to be fair. Nice. You'll be really happy with Manifest Dewey. That extra 50% crit rate, uh, crit damage on uh, your entire water team is actually very, very nice. Not to mention, of course, uh, boosting fist users by 50% if you are using that. Okay. I am also waiting for ma more manifests, although I don't think I have anyone uh, coming out. I think AS Iska will be coming up. I don't have Vayna. Um, yeah, so, you know, of course, AS Akane is many, many uh, weeks into the future, so I won't be doing that anytime soon either. Best Boy, 5-star Milsha. That is a sweet pickup. That end of turn uh, attack is very, very powerful. Wow, that fire team uh, with AS Victor would, yeah, definitely do a lot of damage. Although Victor, of course, is not really um, fire based, but still, uh, his lightning component and will just shred down everyone. I think AS Victor actually works out really well in lightning component, uh, especially with ES Molina as well. Being an ES Molina can really boost combo meter, and apparently, AS Victor's uh, end of turn attack is based off of combo meter after you do an AF. At least, I, at least that's why I understand this. Uh, well, the good thing about um, Arjun, the good thing about you and AS, of course, fits in Slash Stone even though he's a hammer user. And Melina ES, yeah, it doesn't really fit that well into um, other types of, of teams other than um, like one zone, like you said. However, he still, she still can run the combo meter for you, and that inner turn is still, you know, that super EX move is still very, very interesting. So, can't really comment though. Oh. And there we go with the high class scrolls as usual. Yeah, this week in terms of farming hasn't been too eventful. Um, you know. On the weekends is when I look forward most to actually grinding with you guys because, you know, we're, we're trying to live, uh, live it up, have some excitement in our lives and get something really cool. There we go. I really should use that Ruin Genocide a lot more. I know in the beginning when I first had um, Melissa, I used that Ruin Genocide to really stack a last damaging hit, but nowadays, uh, especially if your team's DPS goes up, um, that Ruin Genocide locks you in for one extra turn during the AF, and especially if you don't get it um, done before the end area, then Melissa can't switch out if you still have to kill the boss. Haha, <laughs> yes, Violet is great, so powerful. Especially if you use it against those uh, frogs uh, to grind the XP in the, uh, obviously in the, the lab with the boss fight stage 4. I've mentioned this many times. Free characters are so powerful. We are so, you know, I, we're, I'm very happy, um, you know, that I play Eden and do that. I don't know if anyone played that My Hero Academy, uh, Academia, and uh, the Gong Show that's going on over there. Unfortunately, with their gacha system and the, um, you know, uh, nerfs on their units in global versus other countries, that's pretty rough. Um, if you haven't uh, checked out, uh, you can always uh, read up on the Gacha Gaming Reddit. I usually try to. Um, check it out once in a while, just to kind of know uh, what's going on in the gacha world outside of Eden, because, you know, let's be honest, Eden is obviously uh, my mainstay in games. I don't play any other gacha games, but I like to keep in touch with anything else going on in the gacha world as well. Argent, your idea with Radius, Miyu, uh, and you and Zuri a very good start. And I think Victor as your fourth is great. I mean, you can actually substitute like, you know, any number of which um, teams to uh, do it. Especially if it's just Slash Zone, you can use Deidre, of course, as well. Wow, 
Guys, have you made it past chapter 7? I can't remember. Obviously, if you haven't, make sure you do chapter 7 for the uh, uh, shadow drop, of course. And make sure you get chapter 8 done because we know that chapter 9 should be coming around sometime, hopefully this week. Unless we see another 7 days late for it. Hey, good evening, Melody. Welcome. How did your uh, last stream go? Hey, Zek. Welcome. All our familiar faces. Glad to see you guys on. Hope you're having a wonderful weekend weekend. Definitely summer weather. I think it's actually the summer solstice, is it not? Uh, coming up, so... The longest day of year should be here soon, and uh, I know with, uh, at least in my city, uh, restrictions are slowly lifting such that I will be able to do more, hopefully. Oh yes, Victor can apply some debuffs as well. But his, remember the main thing for Victor is um, his combo meter works really really well in AF and obviously outside zone you can still do quite well as well. Congrats Melody, that's good that, uh, to beat that Ice Jailer. You really do need that multi-hit. Alcron, hi! Oh, I understand all about uh, internet issues uh, with the stream melody, as you can see here. So, hey, uh, that's what happens when you know we rely on um, you know, technology to uh, uh, hold us through. I know that obviously if, uh, you know, if we were doing this more as a full-time job, obviously we would have to invest a lot more into, um, into that. Oh, really? So what do you play, Melody? And Iriox? I wish I had AS Vena as well. It's true that another Eden has a lot of downtime from time to time, especially once we catch up to Japan. Uh, we are going to have a lot of downtime, being that it'll probably be every two weeks to be taking updates. Right now, we're actually in a, 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 you know, obviously it's celebrated a program for catching up. Okay. Burned a few keys already, that's great. We'll get the rest of the green keys and, and then work on our way into the red ones eventually. So nothing new in terms of drops yet. <laughs> yes, I remember reading um, Romancing Saga and uh, when it first came out, and yeah, the additional grind on most of these games is too much to kind of handle two large games. I think there's a new game that came out called... Oh, is it? Oh, which one is it? Alchemy Stars, I believe. Looks interesting. It's very similar to um, something like Fire Emblem Heroes, where you kind of have a tactical uh, move around. Um, not my style personally, but you know, it is a new game and some people can play that as a side or if they want to uh, do that as a main, they can do that as well. Mm, Argent, what is BNHA game? Tales of Castoria. That's another one I've heard a lot of. Again, if I didn't do so many, uh, so many uh, things on this channel, I probably would branch off into maybe another game. But yeah, this is more than enough for me. Oh, okay, got it. My Hero Academy. Yeah. Uh, I haven't played it personally, so I can't say. I, I just know that there's a, there was um, some drama on the uh, uh, re regarding the game and how they kind of presented it to Global, being that they had nerfed characters and people paid a lot of, uh, I guess, the summoning.
All right. Okay, back on. Sorry about that, everyone. Streamlabs after the update hasn't been nearly as stable as it used to be. And we get another bunch of high-class scrolls, unfortunately. Okay, so Yuri in uh, TLC is very similar to uh, the way it does it here. Although I think uh, the damage actually for Eden is actually not bad at all, to be honest. Congrats, Aether. That's a lot of work to get uh, two thirds of the uh, true DC grass stuff. Wow, one turn kills. I will say, when I grinded those out in the summer last year, I think, uh, first night came out in August, I think. So, or is it two nights? I can't even remember anymore. But yeah, it's much different now than before for sure. I really should work on my, uh, I really should work on my Straw Boy. And I, I should have regenerated that one too. Reincarnated at level 80. This is a waste of a run, unfortunately. Okay. So still nothing of a note here. Uh, that That's kind of how it goes when it comes to uh, uh, doing uh, keys, of course. Wow, 27 hits? I don't think the uh, animation here would be able to do that. So, Falco, do you have to do cooking too? Apparently that's a really big thing in, uh, in Tails. Hey, Michael! Uh, no, I haven't responded recently. Um, what inspires me to play another Eden? Um, first of all, um, I was a big fan of Chrono Trigger when it first came out many, many years ago, uh, back in my high school days. And so when I heard about the game that was kind of created as not really a sequel, but you know, by the producers or the developers of the original game, I decided to give this one a go. I forgot how I actually read up on this game or how I came across it, whether or not it got advertised somewhere. Uh, and I downloaded it, played it, and honestly never looked back. It's been a, it's been a blast. Uh, Falco, what did you want me to repeat? I do like uh, power creep. I do like having newer and more powerful units. But I will say, you know, we do want to make sure that it's not too power creep because otherwise it's going to be hard for us to keep up. Like, if the power creep is gradual, then I think that's relatively okay. That's kind of like the name of the game, that's kind of how the game works in general. However, it's like like massive amounts of power creep. I'm not sure if I really want that because honestly that means that in order to keep up, you'll have to summon regularly. I also will say, Falco, I do like the fact that you call yourself the meme distributor. Oh, uh, Falco, I was saying uh, something about how Yuri would be cool to um, have multi-hits in another Eden, other than just the 5 or 6 or whatever, but of course the game probably wouldn't be able to handle the animation of 27 hits. Uh, agreed, Argent. Like, with the manifest, they uh, kind of uh, are able to kind of catch up uh, and just rebalance the game from time to time. Three, two, one, and go! Wow, rough. High class goals all the way, everyone. Unfortunate. Keith, good evening. Yes, things are going well, actually. Thank you very much. Just had some dinner and... Um, Obviously, tomorrow will be Father's Day for me, so I'll be spending time with the family and uh, just relaxing a bit as well. Hopefully, everyone is also doing well uh, this fine week and weekend. Honestly, it's almost time like, you know, it's summertime. You're gonna chill, kick back, have a lemonade or 
uh, adult beverage, so on and so forth. Oh, force rise, yes, definitely, different time zones. Power pain? Not bad, that one's nice. Uh, let's reincarnate first. Um, whose story did you do I enjoy the most? I am actually I would like to say that I do enjoy um, the first the two nights and the first night uh, the most. Uh, kind of have a I really do have a liking to um, um, Annabelle and Deidre, and I hope they expand on that story in the future. What's up, Coc? Thank you, Keith. Uh, CLC, nothing new, unfortunately. No good drops, no light, no chance, no treatises, just the power of pain lance. So a pretty rough ride so far, and we're about halfway through our green keys. So um, yeah, I'm hoping for some better luck uh, in the red keys. But of course, like I said, um, some streams will be a little bit more awesome, and other ones won't be so awesome. Last week was really, really good, to be honest. So I don't know if we're going to have a repeat of last week's uh, awesome performance. Yeah, not only that, uh, Arjun, don't forget, they also do um, a personal grass and stuff like that. Kind of like how the main story characters are going to get upgrades. So that's going to be very, very nice as well. All right. One thing I've always asked, uh, wondered about everyone, does anyone do any kind of collectibles? Um, do you guys collect any uh, cards or, um, you know, uh, toys, for example? Congrats on the Radius 4.5. That is an awesome pickup. And I hope, well, hopefully once you play around with her, you'll find her very, very useful. Um, I don't think she really shines in terms of a ton of DPS, although... As a fire ta attacker, she's still not bad. Um, really, her defensive capabilities and her zone setting is really what sets her apart from the other uh, um, slash zone. At least that's my personal opinion, of course. Hey, good to know, Falco. More hits is just really, really fancy, and I, I will say that looks that's pretty cool. Come on, Rise, you can get one more of those uh, Asta Antica. Wow, that's cool. P5 figurine. Um, for myself, I could actually collect um, old um, Transformers. So they call them G1 or Generation 1 Transformers. Um, main reason I do that is because I grew up with them for like, as a child and I actually had a bunch, uh, well, I shouldn't say a bunch, a few of them uh, growing up. And so, as an adult, uh, once my youngest, my oldest son was born, we were actually watching re reruns of the, the cartoons, and decided to slowly pick up um, those uh, uh, collectibles on eBay. And that was many years ago. Nowadays, way too expensive. So, uh, very, very fortunate that I picked them up early, and uh, you know, nowadays I just kind of display them or save them in a box. <laughs> Empty Mountain Dew bottles. That's interesting too. I know a lot of people collect uh, different things, like uh, like uh, people collect, for example, alcohol bottles, especially the, like really unique ones. Um, or um, I know, like I said, sports cards is a common one, sports collectibles, that kind of thing. And congrats on the COC, uh, to COC for finishing stage seven. Hopefully, you guys have. Uh, done pretty well on the uh, boss rush and claimed most of the rewards hopefully. I know the extreme stages are a lot more difficult but again if you can at least grind through some of them and make it to the end to either get the Chrono Stones or hopefully some of the uh, more exotic rewards I would say that stage 7's uh, fire zone grass that seems to be mo most interesting although I haven't used it yet. I think that's a great prize. Hey Pop, yes. Funko right? I think uh I think I know, I actually have a couple of friends to collect that as well. Yes! Everyone! Here we go! That's great. First one of the night. Hopefully not the end. We've, hey, that's a great pickup. On another note, Keith, I do think that uh, 
I do think that uh, Radius' uh, story is a, it, it is a little bit sad. And, you know, obviously she's from an alternate um, um, you know, time as well. Yep, definitely a pog moment, everyone. That is, uh, can't say anything. Yes, all of you actually bring luck. That's another reason I really like streaming uh, with everyone here. Uh, you know, uh, whether or not we're uh, quieter or busier, have lots of viewers or less. The, the, you know, the things that get dropped here from while grinding is, is pretty ama amazing. Hey, Jose, welcome. Yep, just in time for the chant script. That was great. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if we, our last run can get us any treatises. Now that's one thing we have not seen in this live stream just yet. Jose, you're asking about Mario 4 and a half? Not, not for AS, no. AS is definitely not. Um, if you're going to actually upgrade, the OG Mario is actually probably the better of the two, in my opinion. Uh, her manifest is actually very, very useful in magic zones. And um, obviously her 5-star healing and support capability is still quite good. But again, um, don't upgrade anyone unless you need them right now. Oh, I have no tickets. Oh, I can buy one last ticket, everyone. Let's see if we can get two chests in a row. And... Hello, Gal. Um, in terms of, uh, you know, going over the story and using story characters, that, like, uh, gacha characters during the storylines when you're doing that, I do think it adds a little bit to the story. Uh, I think the dialogue changes slightly. Um, I never had it, have it prevent me from going on the story, but it does make me want the unit a lot more. I know when the Goddess of Time came out with uh, Hina and Yukino, I really did want uh, to pull Yukino or Hina, and of course, never end up doing either of those, and you know, that's the light, uh, luck of the game, right? Of course, on the not, another note, having Radius uh, when that came out was nice. So, you know, sometimes Gacha giveth, and sometimes Gacha taketh away. Yeah, Jose, don't do it. I've I, I actually pulled um, AS Mario on a, on on Gacha a few months ago. Never actually um, used her in one battle at all. I always used the five star OG uh, or normal style one. Oh, definitely Felmina uh, and Mario um, in terms of their OG form. Hmm, let me just think of that. I uh, can't really can't really think of any offhand. I would say that. Um, as much as I love AS Myris, uh, normal Sarah Myris still has a place in my heart as well. And with Manifest, she's actually pretty good. I mean, she doesn't have the raw firepower of AS Myris, but still not bad. Let's go! Oh, hey, not bad secondary prize. JW attacks are always welcome. And for our last run at the satellite, let's see if we have any treaties drops. Hopefully for something exciting here, or even a codex, of course. Oh, that's a good point, um, Argent. AS Renru is actually very, very useful at one point, uh, but definitely the normal style one, um, I would say, fits into more in-game content now. Um, when, Ren when, when there wasn't a fire uh, slash that can set crit rate up, then I would say uh, AS Renru is better, but now of course we have many units that can do that. Okay, not much there. Hey, we got a gate key though. Let's see how far we get here.
<laughs> Not bad. We get three Guiding Light and Luring Shadow. Mm, in terms of uh, OG Yuna versus uh, AS Yuna, I actually think they are both very, very useful. There are times actually that you want uh, OG Yuna over AS Yuna, especially if you don't want to switch in for Water Zone. If you're using her strictly for support, healing, and for uh, debuffing, I actually think you want the OG one. And um, you know, again, everyone's opinion is a little bit different, but especially with Manifest, we have that mega heal that she has now, and of course. Type, re, type down, power down, int down, and so on and so forth, right? So, yeah, different uses is all I can say. I would definitely not say that um, OG Yuna is uh, useless by any means. Uh, let's go with the boat as usual. Come on, stage five, let's go! Oh, hey, can we get one live? Can we? Ah, what to pick? What to pick? So, um, I'll leave it up to everyone here. Hey, why don't you guys vote and see? I know it doesn't really matter, but uh, I don't mind hearing your uh, comments and see what we should go for. And I'll go with the, uh, the pick that everyone wants to pick the most of. Just for fun. Just for fun. So, uh, Wind Crystal? Uh, balloon? Well? What do you guys feel? <laughs> All right. Okay, let's do it. Oh! Wow, Pog, everyone. Those who picked the crystal, you guys rock. <laughs> that is crazy, everyone. So... Now, the only question is what to go for. Codex. Gotta go for Codex, everyone. Gotta go for Codex. Thank you, everyone, for voting. That was fun. That was fun. We got it live, everyone. That was... That's great. 4 chance this, this uh, live stream. <laughs> oh, broken. Okay, so... Okay, let's go back to uh, grinding for some more uh, Straw Boy. We'll go quickly through this and see if we can get anything. In. I want to see if we can get any more cool drops. We didn't get a treatise in any of those drops, but look at this. We did get something awesome there. Uh, COC, I actually have three. Uh, I actually have, I think, three or four Minervas now. So I actually can buy them anytime. So. It, the codexes I didn't have enough to manually grind out, so we are having to buy that one instead and guarantee that. Hey losers! Yes, that was an amazing run. Okay. So now actually, um, just as a slight update, I do have all the weapons at plus 10. I know we can debate whether or not the weapons are great or not, but since I'm here grinding for Shadow anyway, so Clark, um, I don't mind. And so, get some XP here, um, you know, get some materials, and we will continue on. So, I do still grab the chests. I don't fight every battle, although at times it ends up being almost every battle. So, for half of them, we will probably go get every chest. For other ones, I'm just going to speed run them through, just for fun. And I hope that if you are grinding along with me, that you get something cool as well. Thank you, losers. I do hope that I get that last codex as well. Hey, it's, it's pretty good, if you think about it. I mean, Molina ES has only been out for, what, two weeks? And here we are with already two codexes with, if a third one drops, we can just buy two. Or, as usual, I might wait out and get, um, try to grind out the five. And I think that's really the way to um, kind of uh, do things here in terms of grinding it out, obviously. We can always upgrade any time, but 
um, just wait until you have content you can't beat or you really want that last unit to really push your team over the top. I do think ES Molina can really push m uh, many teams over the top, but Blindstone is still one of the weaker um, um, weapon zones, and so that's the one downside that I would say. Um, COC, what Grasta do I use on Kart? Um, actually, I don't think I'm using anything speci uh, special on him at all. Um, yeah. Agreed, uh, Gao. Wait it out until I actually need it. So, um, I, I totally agree with you there. Yeah, we got full heal. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter if you walk away or not, Argent. You know, I'm glad you're here on the stream, and obviously, um, I do think that you all bring me luck as well, and I, I hope I bring your luck, uh, you guys luck back as well. Ariax, I do think they're going to add more units to the future for all three of them, Lightning, Shade, and Crystal. Like right now, I don't even think you can make, yeah, I mean, you can barely make a team of four for some of them, and I think for Shade, I don't even think you have four units yet. I would imagine that once that um, Global gets, or even Japan, gets one of each uh, element in free or start do that, then we will see um, them start to either release content that requires those kind of elements or something along those lines. Like right now, you know, there's not enough free units to kind of do anything. We only have free crystal essentially. We have free lightning. Uh, shade, I can't think of us being free. So I don't think they'll have any content or any zones or anything like that until that shifts up. Oops. That second chest is always one I tend to miss. The thing is, I think uh, we'll have to see how the trend goes in terms of blunt zone. I mean, being that Mayumfa's out, Mayumfa AS will be out in the future. That's going to really help Blunt Zone do extremely well. And of course, you can now stack up some of their older units. Not like Filmina's really that bad or anything. Or you can run Yifa, for example, with um, AS, uh, you know, Tsubami and AS Mayumfa, and you have a really busted up uh, Blunt Zone team. So, you know, I'm waiting for when Blunt becomes a thing, and I do think that um, right now we've had bosses that are more easily beaten with Slash. We have bosses that are more easily beaten with Pierce. I do eventually think that there will be one for um, Blunt as well. Yeah, in terms of having no uh, Yifa, I mean, at least you can go back and get um, the, uh, you know, once that comes out for the global in the future, we can get that AS my Yifa if you uh, happen to be fortunate enough to have stones for that. Now, in terms of Clark's Ring, I don't think that's available till chapter 10, so uh, we just have that. Hey, Jack, thank you. Thank you for the well wishes. Yeah, Gao, <laughs> Melissa's useful with many, many teams. I think any, any, I was just actually telling my kids, and of course, for those who don't know, uh, all three of my boys do play this game as well. They're all varying ages, but they all play and they all enjoy the game. Nice speed badge, plus 22. I feel that any battle that can be ended in uh, four turns or less essentially requires Melissa to really uh, bring out the power of that team. For longer battles, certainly she falls down the uh, list in terms of priority. Although, as a wind unit, if you are using her to support your wind team, I think that's still not bad. But certainly in terms of uh, quick kill fights, um, anything in four turns left, she is amazing and really is no substitute for. But of course, we'll see some battles where will require longer battles, in which case, obviously, she's not going to be used in those battles. Rise, I am hoping that she comes back, uh, Melissa comes back uh, for us a second time in Global. And, you know, hopefully um, we're able to petition the um, devs uh, or producers of the game to give us that banner for Global again. Although, hey, we never know. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. I mean, they would make a lot of money on that uh, on that banner, I think. 
I think, yes, I think Clark's level 3 should be in chapter 10 as well. And of course, um, as a spoiler alert, sorry everyone, um, AS Clark will be available in chapter 10 as well. Oh, sorry Arjun, yes, you cannot. Uh, it would be a waste. So, hey, but at least you'll have Bloodstone eventually in 3 to 6 months. And you're right, Gal, they will probably release another one um, in the future. Although, if they feel that she's too powerful, and I'll be honest, I think she unlocks so many strategies that make a lot of powerful teams even more powerful, they might yank her and never have her um, her abilities replicated again. And that would be really interesting, because if you think about it, I mean, obviously with uh, uh, units like Tiramisu where they have unresistible damage, now we have a couple of units like that as well. We have the um, tier, uh, we have the AS Radica based on luck, of course, and we have AS Tsubami who has a you know has that even uh, powerful uh, farming. There may be some a time that she'll come back. Uh, there'll be a new flash zone, but honestly, I I I don't know if they're going to be. That would be cool if they did, though. Maybe it'll be an ES unit or something like that. Yes, definitely if you don't have Mayufa AS, um, that might be a priority uh, to, to, to uh, save for. Not only that, but of course the other units that it's split with um, are actually not bad as well. I mean, they are OG forms and probably not as useful now, but they can be side grade as well, right? So, not a bad banner overall. Yeah, well, Jack, hopefully you get Melissa soon. I mean, in terms of Flash Zone, nothing announced anyway, so we won't see a new Flash Strike Zone unit, uh, at, at least that I know of, for some time. Because if you think about it, Japan's still about four to five months ahead, and they don't have any sniff of that. <laughs> AS Melissa. Oh man. That would be interesting. Falco, I can't comment on uh, Aegis, don't know enough about it, but maybe someone else here can uh, make a comparison. Yeah, I, I definitely don't feel, I, I, I will say this, even for someone who does use Melissa regularly, I don't think she's absolutely necessary to beat most content in the game anyways. It just makes life easier. Um, and I would say that, like I said, it um, it does enhance certain strategies, but by no means is she absolutely necessary in the game. She just is a, it fits into a wide range of uh, teams. And like I said, for longer fights, she is not as much used, so there, there's that as well. That being said, I would still highly recommend summoning for her if, um, if a banner came back up and no one had a form of that. Um, I am aware of Melody. Sounds like a very complex way to um, kind of get her to be powerful. Um, from what I've read about her, I'm not planning to summon her, but you know, she does have obviously her own uses and I'm sure people will find a way to fit it into a team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Melissa definitely does make life easier, but like I said, many, as I, as I re-emphasize, she's absolutely not a requirement on teams. Alright, first shadow of the night. I'll take that.
So Gao, yeah, I, I do, th I do think that, it, especially it, wind teams are so powerful, right? Not sure if I have room for another um, unit on a wind team. Like we, if you're talking strictly elemental, right? Man, we have so many powerful units. We can always go with Felmina. We can go with uh, AS Suzette or OG Suzette. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. So yeah, not bad. Okay, let's try speed running a little bit uh, for for the change here. I do have uh, most of the materials anyway, so I will kill the horse, um, but I won't get everything unless it's on the way. Hopefully, I can speed up my run a little bit. Um, I have gotten to nine nine hundred ninety nine before. Um, Jack, and basically you can't get more than that, so it's not really, you know, you should try to spend before that if possible. Um, my shadow for Clark is close to 100. No, you can't, you can't exceed, uh, you can't exceed 999. Like, you actually can't get more than a 999, it doesn't store more than 999. For the stones or anything, any of the pickup things in the uh, dungeons, you can't get more. Yeah, Morgana's not bad. Um, I do think Morgana is um, superseded now, has uh, in, in stronger teams. So if you do have, like, if, if you're still using Morgana, it's not bad, especially with, with him wind high booster. But I actually think that a lot of strong team comps uh, don't necessarily need. Um, Morgana anymore. The triple debuff is still really nice and it actually can set up a lot of uh, units that rely on debuff to do a lot of damage. For example, I think AS Shannon, for example, I think, right? AS Yuan also requires debuff. So there are t units that require that, but otherwise, um, yeah, Morgana has been uh, is used for me sometimes, but not as much anymore. Yeah, it's much easier when we don't. The, the, this map is one of the longer ones I, I, I um, in in dungeons. So yeah, once you skip a couple of those outlier, um, crisp uh, uh, chests, it makes the speed up uh, much faster in that sense. Um, for reference, I actually unequip the uh, increased encounter because I use those usually when farming XP as well as. Oops, I don't know if this is a good idea. Uh, I, I use that as um, to farm XP when I'm doing manifest and other things. That was not a good idea. Okay, let's see if we can end it. I'm not sure if we can actually. We'll see. Should be fun. Okay, there you go. That was very, not very nice. Michael, I think it would be great to have a Chrono Trigger Chrono Cross. Not sure how the licensing would go, and let's be honest, having Frog, for example, with Cyrus, I'm um, not sure how they will tie that storyline in. Um, the game already has so many nods and kind of references uh, to another, uh, to um, Chrono Trigger, I'm not sure if they're going to do more. Okay, let's just take a quick look and see where we're at. 91, so not that high yet. Um, I haven't been practicing my speed uh, man eating mar marsh. I would, I, I think I can get it done in maybe three turns. But again, haven't really experienced it right now because uh, have just really haven't played around with it. I really, ha I actually have been working on a lot of another Eden projects, and so that's one reason I have been kind of uh, lacking in my videos uh, from the week. Not, not to mention, of course, that other than banners coming out, if there's no new content in that sense, and I, I'm not summoning, I don't have any new five stars to review or stuff like that. With uh, Violet and all souped up Grasta, I mean, in the easy version, you can one shot the one frog with one uh, Violet hit. And so, if your rest of the team can handle the other hit, I think you can end it honestly in three turns, probably. You don't need an AF for the first two stages, and third stage you can just AF. Yep, AF Shannon is not bad. I think uh, even the normal style Shannon with Manifest is actually quite powerful, and 
apparently damage wise is very comparable um, to the AS version. I don't have the AS version, I only have the normal one. Haven't side graded for AS because, again, don't want to spend the treaty season chance at the moment. Oh yeah, I can see that. Like I said, if you get Violet and the right grass to going, I'm sure you can kill uh, Frog 1 with one hit. And then second phase has two frogs, and you can get one hit with Violet, and then one hit with you know one round with the other people, and then AF turn three. And Alcron, I, I I agree. I'm looking forward to the main story characters um, getting upgraded. I actually really. Excited more for the storyline as well. I mean, getting new characters more powerful is one thing, but seeing how the uh, uh, units grow is one of my favorite things about another unit. I know some people hate the story writing, um, or it's too long, or they can't skip and stuff like that. Um, it's one of the things that actually draw me into the game. Sometimes the story is not nearly as involved as others, but hey, you know, still very, very, very good. Hey, Gerald, welcome. Okay, definitely have to power my bar here since I'm skipping chess here. How's your evening or weekend going? Oh, sorry, very hard dungeon? Um, if I run most very hard dungeons, under 2 minutes. Especially if you equip those uh, minus encounters, which we would probably do. Before, I would say closer to 2 minutes. 2 to 3 minutes, but I would imagine under 2 minutes now. Good point, Melody, of having a really powerful team to take on stage 4. Keep in mind, remember that the point of having that stage is to grind out XP. You probably don't need one or two slots open to level up people or manifest. So, well, if you have the right units, but then you just have to carry mass, that's not too bad. Okay, and si uh, Sinus er Eridim is ended yet again. Hey, that int 13 power 10 badge was actually not bad. I know that a lot of people want the plus 20, plus 20, plus 20. But, you know, since those are relatively rare, I don't mind actually having two mid-tier um, values. So, for what that's worth. <laughs> yes, Jose. Um, if you really, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't upgrade, uh, I wouldn't upgrade um, Molina to five star OG. Save for, save, you, save your chance and treaty seeds for the um, ES version. The normal version, I mean, has some healing capacity, but the damage is just so low at this point. I can't f fit her into my water team. Although, mind you, having a water healer other than AS4 is nice too. I have a 5 star Melina and haven't used her in any team comps. Maybe I'm just spoiled. I think obviously back then she was very useful, but since you know, a lot of things have changed and we're using different units, right? Not to mention in terms of water, if an enemy is weak to water or a boss is weak to water, I'll be using water pierce. If you have a four and a half uh, Molina rise, you should be able to fight the uh, manifest even once you have the AS for it, right? Oh, that's yeah, that's tough, Jose. Um, but remember, AS four and once you get her, um, will be your water healer. Um, you know, it's not tons of healing, but anywhere from one thousand to eighteen hundred uh, should be enough with a d another decent team. If you need a lot of healing and you need a water zone, obviously you can get AS Yuna. But I think AS Foreign, like I said, I think Water Pierce currently is one of the uh, more powerful um, 
team comps. I think that Fire Slash is another very powerful team comp. And of course, uh, wind, wind teams of all sorts are extremely powerful. My favorite character. Uh, my most, my favorite character is still my OG and original uh, first five star, and Suzette. Suzette is, you know, is a joke. She's my waifu, but in, in seriously speaking, I always liked her design. I've liked her personal quest. Um, she carried me through so much content, and even though her damage wasn't the best in the beginning, I mean, yeah, I just really liked her character design um, and her and her moveset. I think everyone uh, everyone has different characters that they like a lot. Uh, some of them are based on use, some of them are based on design, some are based on looks. Um, and of course, you know, everyone has their own preference. But yeah, for me, this is that. Hey, thanks, Half Moon. Yeah, I'm really sorry about the uh, mic. Like I said, it's not the equipment, it's literally the internet is cutting out a little bit as uh, everyone is draining for it. Thank you, thank you, Melody. Like I said, uh, let me know once the uh, the uh, mic or the uh, buzzer goes away. Yeah, in terms of the uh, buzzing, uh, the buzzer. The main reason why it's kind of like this is because I run the uh, uh, iPad where I play the game off uh, uh, Wi-Fi, and so even though my PC is plugged into uh, um, decent speed internet, it's still a buzzer from time to time. Thank you, thank you, Wakan. It's actually just Will. Um, my full name is actually Will Fred, and so I just refer to myself as Will. Alright, Michael. Thank you, thank you. Glad to hear we're back online. Like I said, it's um, being that I'm playing off, I'm mirroring off the um, essentially uh, through mobile, it makes it a little bit uh, more challenging to maintain both the wired connection as well as the mobile device. And yes, congratulations uh, Half Moon. That is awesome. OG Claude is still one of the best tier supports out there. And Falco saving for saving for that is definitely not a bad idea. I don't think you need Lokito though. Uh, Mayufa for sure. Yep. 
Make sure you get that manifest done as soon as possible, uh, uh Half Moon. I do find that these speedruns are much better when I don't have to grab absolutely everything. Those long out of the way chests are very very annoying. Yeah, good to hear, Half Moon. I think once you uh, experience using Claude, man, your Pierce team will be uh, will thank you for it. No, for all blunt, no, unfortunately. No, I th I think Lokito. I, I used him a lot, but unfortunately, like you said, he has fallen out of meta. Yeah, it's really sad when some of the older characters kind of get uh, superseded, unfortunately. And the worst part is when he was in the beginning, his damage was really low output-wise too. Before his manifest, it was very difficult to kind of bring him around. For someone who's a uh, half beast and supposed to be powerful, he never really um, kind of satisfied that kind of con uh, area. <laughs> Yep, Suzette is one of the original six. And I think of all the original units, I think she's actually aged among the best, right? I mean, Tuva's okay. You got Lokito's not the, you know, not as powerful now. Xion, everyone makes a joke about Xion. Uh, Mary, of course, has aged very well, mind you. And who else? Who am I missing there? Uh, Mighty. Mighty's not bad, but again, you know, so it certainly isn't as useful as it used to be. So, of yeah, of the original six, I would say Meryl and Suzette, and obviously DPS-wise, Wind is always favored anyway, because Wind is so powerful, um, but with her manifest, she's so useful. Power poison, uh, pain poison setter, uh, increased damage now, AoE, I mean, yeah. Not to mention, of course, the AS style, which is crazy good um, for a Pierce team. <laughs> yes, Pierce team is unfair, definitely. I, I'm looking forward to eventually getting ES his mina. Of course, prioritizing different units, uh, but yes. Hey, Xion's still, you know, okay, just not as good as before. His VC power down was still useful. Uh, triple hit before zone, you know, maintained the bar a lot more. Just nowadays, not as powerful. And Dewey, honestly, I think Dewey with Manifest is still very, very good. Crit damage up 50% for um, all uh, users. Fist damage up. I think he actually still has a place in many teams. Yep. Garyu is the... Garyu is great. As a free unit. Free zone setter in the AS form. And you can see I use him in all dungeons. Hey, even in Magic Zone right now, I still use Garyu because I don't have AS uh, Daenerys, and he suits the build just fine. His damage is really, really good, in my opinion. For a free unit, definitely among tops for mages. I'll eventually switch back to Aldo for light. Just right now doing a little bit of this. I really do want 105 shadow for Clark. See, one thing about grinding shadow and light for the Phantom P5 and its scales up, you don't get chant scripts and that's rough. That's one thing that I hate about those. I hope that in the future update, um, they will eventually have those as chants. But without that, it's hard to upgrade units being that, especially if you're free to play, chants are the primary way of getting new units, right? I still do think their light and shadow is great, but um, you know, I, I just don't want to prioritize that right now.
Uh, hey, Bryant. Uh, you farm Garalia, uh, Garalia Antiquity for Garyu's uh, Shadow. I want I, I want Azami first AF before uh, Serene AF. After all, Azami came up before Serene. And I also find that Serene's probably still more useful than Azami at this stage. Um, if I can get Clark to higher, I could. I still have to get Aldo to 255, to be honest. COC, that's true, but we, uh, we'll always run out of chance. There's tons of units to upgrade at all times, right? And yes, AF Miu is broken. Uh, Wakanda. I'm not sure about um, who's the descendant of King Minglins. <laughs> That'd be funny if they were related. Hey, Jordan! Yo, welcome! I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? Uh, Brian, first of all, yeah, I think Aldo has a massive boost and he will be relevant again. He will actually be found on a lot of endgame teams, I think. In my opinion. Um, in terms of uh, Yuri and Victor, yes, combo meter is the huge part. Uh, but not only that, don't forget that Yuri can help set crit rate for most of your slash units close to 100%, if not 100%. Oh, glad to hear that, Jordan. Hey, a new job is always more opportunities. Obviously, a regular paycheck is always a good idea as well. So, um, congratulations on getting that new position. Hopefully, it works out really well for you. I'm sure a lot of... Uh, I'm, I'm sure Kronos is tied to someone. And we'll still have to find out uh, where Madoka comes in too. Hopefully, that storyline resolves and we'll find out. Okay, these are coming along. One batch almost done, one more round of five. Yep, definitely. A job is a big deal for sure. I mean, we all can have a lot of fun with eating and all that, but at the end of the day, we gotta put some uh, food on the table or uh, pay our bills, pay our rent, so on and so forth. Okay, prescript. Yep, looking forward to it, Melody. I'm actually a little bit nervous when that uh, content comes out. Don't know how I'm going to keep up with so many chapters. I'm not even sure how I'm going to present it. Um, in 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 updates past for this, I usually I used to um, save it and then upload chapter by chapter. But now that I live stream, I'm actually li I sit down during the week and have a number of large live streams and just kind of finish the storyline that way. Just not really sure how I want to do it actually. So we'll have to see. Might even have to take some time off. It's gonna be brutal. Man, out of all those keys, just the one shadow. Not very good. Okay, one last batch of five. I 
another reason why I look forward to um, grinding keys with everyone is not only uh, obviously we have uh, spend a little bit of time together, but the fact that uh, you know obviously when you have a lot of keys, you have the chance of a lot of cool drops, and so that's another reason I really like running it. Good point, Wakan. Can't really um. I uh, haven't really followed the uh, kind of origins of all the different areas and names, to be honest. But I think that's really cool to look more into the lore of that. Just me personally haven't been able to do that. No, I, I think it's great for, uh, for to have more streamers and content creators on Eden. Our game is still relatively small and, um, you know, there's a handful of people who, uh, who upload regularly, but, you know, most of us are actually just really casual players, and so it's hard to get the game to, um, you know, their name to get out there. I really do hope that the game becomes extraordinarily big. I know it's still decent, but I think it has a lot of room to grow, and hopefully um, more and more people join it. I mean, again, like most games, I'm sure this one has some downsides, but I've been here for, you know, two and almost a half years, and I continue... I, expect to continue playing this game unless they discontinue it, which let's hope that that never happens or a far line into the future and if that's the case, hopefully they come up with people as well. Yeah, yeah sorry for the buzzing. Um, Arches for the combo uh, for Victor with Billy, it's because even outside zone, outside slash zone, the combo meter goes so high and you, the number of hits maintained in the AR bar is so long that you can get Billy and um, um, Victor in like one turn AR combo outside slash zone. And specifically, if we talk about Billy and Victor, the reason why they have that kind of synergy specifically is because Billy's DPS is so high as a one shot that, that having the Victor power that um, AF meter in a, in a, as a one turn AF is extraordinarily great. Yeah, when I try to create the new videos on. Um, you know, you know, content and kind of units, and especially when it comes to the story of views of the Lincoln Lake Drake and stuff like that, I try to show some mechanics of that that hopefully people can understand and then kind of apply to other team teams as well. If you're not sure about the synergy, um, our party is pretty sure you check that five star review up there. That happened, I think I ran one one turn in that video. Oh, oh, multiple lightning units just become even more crazy. crazy. That's, that's true. There's so much, much in the uh, 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 world, world because, because every time I don't know that all they have to do is add a new area, a new continent, a new lake, or sea, or whatever the hell it is. Okay, hey everyone! We got another key. Can we do two? two? Can we do two, 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 two three three? Let's, Let's go well with that bed. Ah, ah, one and one and done. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey,
Well, thank, thank you all, all for your questions and putting, putting up, up with the, uh, uh internet issues. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, 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 moving to the keep on the first run, run. I mean, I mean, you can't, can't have, have all perfect runs all the time, right? right. <laughs> nope, no, 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 I actually do like Lindo as a main, although I do like the drawers as well from time to time. But again, remember that once you go in and activate the key, it literally does not matter what you're doing. We're just, you know, we just imagine that we have choice when we really don't have four choice. Okay, so again, um, hopefully um, you'll be able to tell me if the internet re uh, and, and the uh, voicing resolves itself. And otherwise, we'll continue on. If we do have more technical issues, I'll probably cut the stream a little bit short. Um, even though the graphics are good, it's unfortunate that the mic isn't working um, and the sound isn't coming through nearly as much. Closest option for sure. Saves you time, half moon clicking. Yep, still looking for my first uh, cape sensationalist. But that being said, I'll take the three additional chance, of course, so no complaints here. Okay, so is everyone still farming in, uh, um, you know, is anyone farming crystal with me, or is everyone pretty much doing different things such as uh, Aldo or other dungeons? Alright! Onwards. Let's bar this one down. I will say, I do get a little bit bored running between uh, dungeons from time to time. Nice animation. Can't wait for uh, AS cart eventually. Oh, oh, Melody, what are you writing? Like, is that another project you work on? Hey, two cart shadow! Yay, second one of the night. Glad to hear the mic is finally back. Yeah, no, ES Molina looks great, and I will hopefully get my third codex sooner rather than later, and then we'll decide what we want to do there. Surprisingly, uh, Argent, uh, if you're talking about actually getting the weapons to plus 10, it only took me about a week and a half. So, not bad. I have all of them in plus 10 arrays. Okay, I just uh, fiddled around with the mic. Hopefully that's a little bit better. 
やがて糧となるためにさすがさ静寂を保けとしよう。シクシクとシュリスルダケン。サギオタス。Okay, these ones I think I'm going to do. 
Okay, again, again, thanks everyone for uh, uh, joining on the stream, and I'm going to call it a night, and, and we'll, we'll see you next, next, week, next week, and hopefully some of the time I'm working on a little, um, be able to publish that as well. Thanks again, again.